Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about the shrapnel build, what I am using as main DPS build. We're going to talk about key aspects of the build, the weapons, the gear, the mods that you want and the stats you want on the mods, what deviant to use and some other tips and tricks and my opinion on how this build actually behaves in reality compared to the test dummies in your base. I have some footage before the patch 1.1 and before they did some changes on some gear and cradle skills. So I'm gonna show you the DPS and the skills before and what I am currently using and what the numbers show on the test dummies. I would say this build works in two different ways and you can choose either one of them. So the first one is DPS burst damage so you do as much damage as fast as possible as you can see here i'm doing about 100,000 dps here i'm doing another try and the dps is 122k damage and the total damage is around 700k damage or you can go for a sustained damage build As you can see here, my DPS is around 50,000 damage, but my total damage is almost triple. It's 1,906,000 damage. And these numbers are only with one magazine because my magazine keeps refilling when I'm doing critical hits. Matching different weapons and skills, this build can also reach up to 130k DPS. What you need to take into consideration is that the dummies are like normal enemies. So the bonuses you won't see here are damage against elites or damage against great ones. So if you are fighting a boss and you have extra damage towards great ones, that bonus damage will also add when fighting bosses. Before the patch, bosses also counted as deviants, but now only bonus damage towards great ones count when fighting bosses. So the main weapon that I'm using is the last Valor. You can see that it has 4% chance to trigger shrapnel on hit, but that is actually one in four shots will trigger shrapnel. To get to those numbers, I'm also using the purple crossbow. Hitting a weak spot will inflict the bullseye effect on the target, causing all weapons to have crit rate plus 15 versus the target for 10 seconds. The downside for this bow compared to the sniper rifle that I'm also using is that you need to hit the weak spot and sometimes in battle you won't be able to or you'll miss the shot or maybe even some elites don't have weak spots. But this will add the most damage when you do the first shot because it will increase the critical rate by 15%. Another weapon that you can use to increase your damage by giving you an extra bonus damage is the purple long axe. Heavy attacks activate fortress warfare up to once every 10 seconds. So you can get two bonuses on this. Once is the Fortress Warfare, it will actually be a small area on the ground where you need to stay in order to get this bonus for the Fortress Warfare. And the second one is for each enemy hit, grants another weapon critical rate plus 8% for 10 seconds. The effect can stack up to three times but previously, before the patch, it was up to five times. So they basically reduced the crit rate, the maximum crit rate by 16%. You can see that the Fortress Warfare creates an area of effect within two meter radius that grants super armor with weapon damage plus 20%. So you get an additional 20% if you stay in that area. This bonus is for five seconds, but if you use this mod when Fortress Warfare ends, weapon damage plus 10% and also movement speed by 10% for 10 seconds. So basically you get for 5 seconds 20% damage and after that for another 10 seconds you get 10% damage. For the main weapon you have a couple of choices what mods you can pick. One is the shrapnel souvenir. When shrapnel hit a weak spot automatically refills one bullet from the inventory. So I think I previously said when the shrapnel crits, but it's actually when it hits a weak spot, then you refill one bullet from the inventory. This is how I managed to get to 1,700,000 something in one of my tests. As a general rule for all the mods, you need to prioritize weapon damage. This is the most important. Then critical damage, then critical rate, and after that damage to bosses, elites, 
and normal enemies. The other option that will give you a lot of DPS is the obliterate mode. The more parts the shrapnel hits, the higher the shrapnel damage each part by 15% increase. You can also use the shrapnel smash. Triggering shrapnel grants shrapnel crit rate plus 1% for 2 seconds. Effect can stab up to 20 times. So you can have up to a maximum 20% increased critical rate, but for the shrapnel hits. The core effects matters a lot, but also take into consideration the attributes that you have available. A mod with weapon damage will increase the damage that you do overall. So make sure that you test these mods. For the cradle skills, I'm using the automatic weapon enhancement, gives 20% damage while holding an assault rifle in my case. Master Tactician, after using a tactical item damage against great ones is increased by 25%. So you won't be able to see this damage bonus on the dummies, but it will be when you're fighting bosses. I'm also using Deviation Master while a deviation is present. Damage against great ones, like bosses, and elites is increased by 50%, which is a lot. This actually changed after the patch, so before it wasn't only against Great Ones and Elites, but now it is. So this extra 50% damage, you won't see it on the dummies, but it will be applied when you're fighting bosses. I'm also using Rapid Aid for the healing effects. Tactical combo, switching or reloading increases the damage for 4 seconds by 25%. Deadly combo, after triggering shrapnel, bullet effect damage plus 25% for 4 seconds. And if you want to use the X combo to also trigger the third skill effect, steady hand while in fortress warfare or fast gunner, weak spot damage plus 40% and weak spot damage to the bullseye plus 20%. And as the last skill, as another bonus that you also won't see on the test dummies, tracking bullet, after defeating an enemy, shrapnel damage plus 25%, and shrapnel crit damage plus 35% for 15 seconds. The deviant that I'm using is the Lone Wolf's Whisper. It's a really good deviant because it also takes aggro from the nearby enemies. When the target dies, it spawns a clone, so you'll have more wolves on the ground, on the battlefield. But the most important thing is that it increases the weapon damage received by the attacked target. So if the deviant attacks a target, that target will take additional 37.8% extra damage. This percent here depends on the skill rating. So the higher the skill rating, the more efficient the deviation works. And in this case, the percentage will increase. Also make sure that for the deviant that you use, you have all its need covered, so you can use it more often. As an alternative, secondary weapon, and is actually what I'm using the most, is this sniper rifle, which has 70% chances to trigger the boss eye on a weak spot. But I, what I actually really like is that after switching to this weapon, so from your main to the secondary, the first hit will trigger boss eye all the time. It also grants weak spot damage plus 15% on hit for 10 seconds. And you can stack this up to three times. But usually I hit the target once to apply the boss eye effect, and then I switch to the main weapon. As a mod for my secondary weapon, I use the mod that gives vulnerability on the target. On the test dummies, when using the bow, you'll get the most damage, but in combat, from my experience, the bow is not the most efficient because when you're actually trying to run from the bosses, from the spawns, you can miss your shot and you need to reload after each arrow. But when you're using the sniper rifle, you actually have multiple shots, so you can fire once with the secondary weapon. If you miss, switch to the main weapon, switch back to the secondary so you can apply that effect that triggers when you're switching to the sniper rifle, hit with the bullseye effect, then switch to main weapon and do the DPS. If you want to do the perfect combo, you need to hit three targets with a heavy attack with the X, so you get the three target bonus from the X. You'll also trigger the Fortress Warfare that will give you extra damage and critical rate. Get your wolf deviation out, that will increase your DPS against the attack target. And if you are fighting bosses, it will also increase uh, the damage towards bosses and elites. Use your secondary weapon to trigger the boss effect and what additional effect that weapon has. 
and then switch to your main weapon and do as much damage as possible. Don't forget if you're fighting a boss, also use the tactical item, this will also increase your damage even further. I will be moving to a hard difficulty server and I will do another build there to counter the buff that the enemies have, so make sure that you subscribe to be up to date with all the videos that come out. If you enjoyed the video hit the like button and if you have any other questions or tips leave them in the comment section down below. See you guys next time. Bye bye.